wanted to share a quick demo of uh, a business license and a simple example of how Camino can be configured for business licensing. In this example, the residents uh, would click into our system. You know, you can configure this option in the front. In this example, we'll go with business licensing. Uh, from here, again, this page can be configured to however you want. This one's fairly simple, straight up business license. Uh, and from here, it is asking for a address because, again, we are using, uh, let me get this. Uh, we are using your GIS layers in the back end to be able to ensure they're in the in the city or county. They are zoned properly for this type of business uh, and using that zoning information uh, within your solution. So here we're going to select this, this address. Camino drills down on this parcel, and that is the parcel we want to open the business up in. So I click Continue. And in this example, Camino asks just a few cl more clarifying questions. Will you be constructing or remodeling the building as part of your business? Selecting this will ensure that they know they need to also get a building permit. And in this example, how many employees do you have? That might uh, uh, be based on fees, be based on what type of businesses, whatever it is. Submitting the answers, the last question to generate fees is what's the square footage of your business? We'll say it's 2,000 square feet. And in submitting our answers, we have our both our guide, our informational guide. So as a uh, potential business person, I can see all the information of what will be required, even all the way down to the fees. I can see it's a 2,000 $250 fee here in that example. But they have all that information, but it's customized to their uh, exact situation. So now um, we are going to, you know, in, in looking at this information, we're letting them know, hey, business is permit, permitted because you're in this C3 zone, you know, using that uh, your GIS layers. Just as importantly, if they weren't zoned properly, we could stop them here and not make them apply and then be rejected. Uh, we're also letting them know in this example, they're in a historic district. We have an attachment to download to talk about what that means, right? And that might mean certain things for businesses as well. We're also giving them information and sharing information on workers' comp. Uh, and in this example, again, letting them know they need a building permit and giving them a hyperlink to your building to permit system if you're not using Camino as your building permit system. Uh, we're also letting them know now this form that needs to be completed and filled out. So we'll quickly go through this process. You can see we're identifying man mandatory fields that have to be filled out. And finally here, uh, simple information here on that. We have all the mandatory fields required so we can save our answer and that's done. We need a document on the various liens that we have. And in this example, we can, it's a simple drag and drop, and that is included. Uh, copy of the uh, driver's license, simple drag and drop. And we have that as well. Proof of insurance, simple drag and drop. And we have that. And in this example, we have everything we need for a complete submittal. So we submit it. Um, and, and now on the back end, you would be notified of a new uh, submittal. You can come in, and this is the one that was just uh, submitted. So you can come in, review everything that has been, all the information that was shared with them, even all the way down to that historic uh, district information you can see what was shared with them as well as everything that was all the information that was loaded, documents that were downloaded, 
And on the payment history side, if they brought in a check, we can very quickly say paid with check and submit it and send them an electronic receipt. And you can see you can issue refunds. But also Camino is going to share an active map of that parcel and bring in GI, the GIS information that you have in your layers that might be helpful for you to make decisions on this um, item. So now uh, if we have everything we need, we can update the status. And using that workflow engine, uh, we can change this to passing this into a zoning review. We're gonna notify the applicant as well and update the status. Now in this zoning review status, it adds this additional step, right? So we can take this additional step, instead of assigning it to the planning and zoning department, we can assign it to an individual. We can give him a certain amount of time to do this. And, uh, and, in, and in saving this information now, David Marshall is alerted within the city or county that he has a task to do. He can log in, come to his inbox, and see uh, see that information that he is required to do. In this example, it's this planning review. I can click on it, go in to do whatever I have to do. Well, you know, we can set it up so your whatever, however you need to review forms you need to complete documents that need to be uploaded can be set up here. Um, and, and then finally, you can let everyone know you've marked that as uh, reviewed. So going back to this submission, uh, that part has been done and you can see it is automatically workflowed to this issue license. Clicking on the issue license phase, you can see we can you know, auto populate with the information that's in the system, give them a specific business license and issue this document. And in issuing this document, uh, in issuing this document, they also, it would also set up an expiration date on the system as well. So now, uh, as you can see here, it is, you know, this was the date it was uh, updated and the expiration date is a year later. Camino will also be set up to automatically notify the applicant at, at a time of your choosing before the expiration, asking them, them if they would like to renew their license and including the steps, which can include inspections, fees to be paid, forms to be uploaded, but they can take the initiative without you manually uh, sending letters out, et cetera.